Okay, here's a tutorial on doing some basic side chaining in Logic. Side chaining is the process of taking one sound and using a compressor to affect another sound. It's widely used in pop music and dance music. I'll just go step by step and show a basic form of side chaining. First, we need a kick drum. So, on this first software instrument track, I'm going to go to the I.O. and load up the Ultra Beat drum machine. We need a really good punchy kick. And I like this one. Nice and tight. Okay, my quantize is set to a quarter note. So when I record a quarter note pattern, it's gonna be quantized as I play it. Perfect. Gonna option drag this down the timeline. On the next track, this is where your pad or your sound is gonna go. In this case, we'll keep it real simple. I'm gonna just use the ESP synth, and we're just gonna dial in a noise sound on this oscillator here. The other knob that we're going to be using is the frequency cutoff. You want to turn up the sustain and the release. So when you hold the key on the keyboard, it will linger. I'm going to right click, create an empty MIDI region. Stretch it out. Open this up in the piano roll. And I'm just going to program a note by drawing it in with the pencil tool. Right on that C. Stretch it out. Quick tip that you need to know. This is a MIDI event happening on this synth. If I put the playhead in the middle and hit play, I'm not going to hear this synth because it's not triggering the note at the beginning. So there's a setting in Logic under MIDI that you want to turn on. It's called Chase. That way, regardless of where the playhead is in the MIDI event, it will still trigger the note. Handy feature. So on the Ultra Beat, I want to send the kick drum sound on a bus. So I'll use bus 10. Now on the Ultra Beat channel strip, I want to turn the stereo out off. I want to send the bus at full signal. So option click in the circle. I want to make a silent side chain. In other words, I'm not going to hear the kick as it's doing its job. So I turn the stereo output off of the kick drum. And I need to do the same thing on the bus. Turn the stereo output off, no output. So the kick drum is still happening. You'll see it show up here in the meters, but we're not going to hear it. It's exactly how I want to do this. Now, on the synth is where you insert the compressor. On the compressor, in the sidechain drop-down list, you want to find the bus 10 that the kick drum sound is on. You're going to be using the ratio and threshold to dial in the type of pumping sound you want. So that's the general effect. The kick drum is sent on a bus, and it's a silent bus because we turn the output of the track and the bus off. On our sound source, this could be a pad. In this case, we chose a 
white noise. This technique works with long pad type sounds. As I said on the ESP, the other knob that we're going to interact with is this frequency knob, the cutoff. We're just going to automate that. So I'm going to turn latch mode automation on. A and my keyboard will show me the automation parameters that I can adjust. I want to go to the ESP, cutoff. That's this knob right here. So this line is adjusting the cutoff. You can see the knob turn to my right there. And I'll just draw in the sweep. Like this. Put a drum beat under that. And you've got a white noise riser sidechain to the beat of the song. some reverb and delay on this white noise and you're on your way. There you go.